Kevin Martin here, your UT Admissions Guy. This is the third video of a five-part series um, encouraging you to ask some questions about uh, how you're approaching the transfer application and transfer process. Um, the first two questions dealt with kind of what is the typical type of transfer student look like and how does the transfer process differ from that as uh, applying as a first-time freshman or high school senior. Uh, this third question I encourage you to ask yourself is a simple one. Why do you want to transfer? This is an important question for a number of reasons. You know, firstly, there's kind of this big picture uh, notion of you know, transitioning from one environment to another. Um, so ask yourself a few questions. Uh, what, are, what reasons have you identified that make your current situation less than ideal? Um, is it the case that you're at a two-year university, you've completed your associate's degree, and, and you simply want to move forward with finishing your bachelor's? That's pretty straightforward, but it's, it's also good to understand your particular motivations um, and co courses you may have taken that are influencing your choice of major um, that you want to pursue whenever you uh, start your, your bachelor's degree. Um, for those kind of students who are at a four-year university and you're not quite satisfied with how things are going, um, consider the specific reasons that are motivating your transfer. Um, does it have to do with the cost of attendance? Um, is there lack of access to needed coursework or you're having trouble registering for the courses required for your major? Um, have you outgrown your environment? Um, I worked with a client once who was attending uh, a un one public university in Texas for computer science. Um, they chose um, to transfer out because they just said, you know what, I've taken the kind of the most rigorous courses available to me and it's only my sophomore year. I've already kind of got out what I could in terms of research and my professors. Um, I'm doing really well, but I want to go into a place that challenges me a lot more. And for that reason, um, they decided to transfer and, and successfully did um, enroll at UT Austin in the computer science program. But sometimes there's also things going on at home. Do you Are you outside of Texas and you need to come back closer? Um, are you from Austin and went away to school but need to come back home? Um, but it's important to kind of identify what these, what these reasons were. For example, I think, and this is especially true for four-year applicants, or students who are attending four-year universities, um, what were your expectations before you enrolled and how did those expectations differ after you arrived? And once you start asking yourself these questions, you can help identify specific reasons that you can, you can then write about in your transfer essays. There's one essay that's required, uh, essay A, that's sort of like a personal statement that, that kind of challenges you to ask uh, this, this one question in particular amongst a few other ones, and, and that's why do you want to transfer? And so by asking these questions, this can be your brainstorming um, for helping start your, your application process. I want to provide one example. So, um, you know, I, I, can, I confronted a student once when I worked for UT Austin, and this was at the beginning of my career, and they sought transfer out of a prestigious public university. And, you know, they were highly ranked, even kind of better ranked than UT Austin. And it was kind of confusing to me, like, why, why did this student want to transfer out? They'd finished their freshman year and decided that, you know, they enjoyed the city. It was kind of a cool environment. Um, but this student found that after writing for the school's newspaper, they, they really developed a passion for journalism and, and reporting and investigation. Uh, but their university just simply didn't offer a journalism program. And so what she thought she wanted to study uh, changed. And though she enjoyed her environment, she realized that if she wants to continue her studies and eventually, you know, become a journalist, that she needed to seek a transfer. And that's why she was visiting us about um, learning more information about the transfer process to UT Austin. And so the takeaway from this video is knowing why you want to leave can help answer where you want to go. And so in the fourth video, I'll kind of unpack this question a little bit more, um, addressing why it is you want to choose UT Austin or transfer in general. Um, as always, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can contact me by email at kevin at uh, Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.